See, I shot the cook. I think my dictator, who was spoiled and ugly, deserves a little rest. Anyway, time to go to bed. Oh, look, it's Pharaoh. Welcome to Dreamland, Pharaoh. Where all the crazy things you take or any serious illnesses you have finally start ruining your mindset. Okay, clearly this wasn't supposed to be in the film, since there were no stupid Dreamland coordinators in this story. So move it! Ugh. Now then, let's get to the bottom of this dream. Right here near this beautiful Nile River. Hey, I wish for women, not cows. You think you're so disappointed? I was just in the middle of an aerobics class. Well, at least you are the only cow. Seven skinny cows and seven fat cows. That reminds me of a joke. Okay, listen. What did the poor cow say to the rich cow? If you don't give me food, I will starve to death and become ground beef. <laughs> this guy ain't no Robin Williams, that's for sure. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. But then again, you don't expect talking cows. Every fat cow for herself! Whoa, that was one weird dream. But I don't care, I'm going back to sleep. Ah, uh, I'm doing this again. Ah. Uh... Let's do this. Where are the women I want? Geez, well, at least there is only one stock. Seven healthy stocks and seven unhealthy stocks? Huh, that reminds me of a joke. What did the healthy stock say to the unhealthy stock? Stop wheating. You will become healthy soon. Get it? Wheat, weep, ha 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 ha. What the? Ah! That was another heck of a dream. I need someone to translate these dreams. Wow, you have really odd dreams. Okay, so the dreams were a little odd. But I'm sure these dreams have to mean something. Look, we try to help everyone in the land, but you really shouldn't be wasting our time with this foolery. It's not just something we would be able to translate. It is nothing worth our time. You know what? You guys are useless. I'm going to ask someone else for help. And also, you guys are fired! <laughs> Gee, I really wish someone would translate these darn dreams. Or at least whatever that yellow sage said. Psst, Pharaoh, hi. What do you want, cup bearer? There is a Hebrew slave of the captain of the guard who once translated the dream I had. He also helped interpret the dream for the chef baker. He also... Okay, just show him to me already. Don't worry, Pharaoh. I know where to find him. Um, hello? Can one of you Hebrew slaves tell me which one of you guys can translate dreams? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! No, I'm not kidding. Man, you guys are really rude. This is a joke, right? I really got screwed up. I know someone who could translate dreams. Really? Who? Me. So you say you had a dream last night that you think has a message behind it. Tell me, what was that dream about? It starts like this. Okay, I think I understand the message behind your dream. Just hold on a minute. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? 
I'm on your leg since you were not making fun of me. <laughs> All the other people thought I was crazy when I told them my dreams, but it just goes to show you the slaves are the ones you can trust the most. I'm keeping you around, buddy. Wow, you really don't get it, do you? Jeez. Anyway, the message behind these dreams was this. Both the former dream, where seven healthy cows were eaten by seven skinny cows, and the latter dream, where seven healthy stalks of grain were eaten by seven thin stalks, represented seven good years and seven bad years coming to Egypt. God has sent this message to warn you about what will happen in Egypt. We should store food in the seven good years under your cities so that there will be a reserve in the seven years of famine. Wow, how could I have been so blind? There is no one in the land who is more discerning or wise as you. And God has given you all this knowledge. You shall be in charge of my household, and all my people shall obey your word. And only I, the throne, shall be greater than you. God bless America for Joseph. I mean, God bless Israel for Joseph. Nice.